Gordon Graham here with today's tip from Lexapol. Today's tip is about two words, slow down. Please, slow down. You know what I've learned over 45 years? Cops, firefighters, correction people are odd, ODD. You are willing to take risks that most people would find totally unacceptable. You know what else I've learned in 45 years? There's another oddity in the brains of cops, firefighters, correction people. Everything needs to be done now. I got to do it now. I got to do it now. The purpose of this tip is please slow down. Whether you're in the fire service, in the cop world, or a custody setting, we all share one thing in common. Someone asks us for help and we respond. Whether you're leaving the fire station, heading from a cold report to an emergency, or walking to an inmate's cell, we've got one chance to get it done right. We've also got something else in common. We're always pressed for time. We've got tasks waiting. It is so easy to be distracted by other pressures. Dispatchers keep broadcasting new requests for service. Calls are backed up. Supervisors seem to want things done quickly and efficiently. Paperwork stacks up. Our cell phones are a constant nuisance. You got to feel sometimes like you got to get through one call to get to the next. But I'm here to tell you, ignore this and you guessed it, slow down. I hear many stories, many stories about firefighters, cops, or corrections officers who handle the calls efficiently, but not effectively. That means they arrived, learned what was wrong, and they cleared the scene quickly, ready to go again. But they failed to solve the problem. One example is the gas leak reported by a citizen. The fire department shows up, conducts a cursory evaluation, and can't find the problem. So they clear the call, and an hour later, there's a gas explosion. Or cops arrive at the scene of shots fired in an area. They drive through, they fail to find the gunshot victim. We've seen suicides in jails where deputies didn't take the time to hear what an inmate is trying to convey. These things don't happen or happen less frequency when we slow down. In my world traffic, how many times we got a vehicle over the side and the cops drive through and they don't see anything and three days later they find the car down the side of the hill. Skid marks going right over that they missed. Slow down. I will tell you this, every call you get is unique. Whether it's an inmate asking for assistance or a person reporting a fire, each call should be thoroughly investigated. That's what you signed on for years ago. That's what you've trained for. It's what's expected of you by your peers, your supervisors, and your public. Slow down. Actively listen to all available information. Consider potential problems that might arise. We all have distractions and pressures that can hinder our focus. These may cause us to hurry through calls for service. We can miss details or overlook indications of serious problems. Distractions and pressures are real. I'm not discounting them here. I'm simply asking you to try to set them aside. Focus on what you're doing on this call. Slow down. We can be both efficient and effective, and that's how we do our best work. And that is today's tip from Lexapol. Gordon Graham, signing off.